Hey everyone, I am ZubaDubaHax and welcome back to Fallout 3. Now, a friend of mine made me realize where the food was. Apparently I completely missed it. So, I was right. I did miss it. Completely. So, I, I mean, I didn't even notice this room until now. So, yeah. God, how, how dumb I must feel right now. <laughs> See, there's a fridge. Yeah, and there we go. Now I can return to Moira, and I can continue with this damn quest. Damn Wasteland Survival Guide. Hey, kid! Those monsters, they're, they're gonna get me. What the heck is your problem? Those things, they're gonna get me too. Can't stop now. Hey kid, it's okay. I'm a big, tough guy. I can take care of you. You look stronger than all the other grown-ups. Can you... Can you protect me? I can try. <laughs> I'd like to help, but I need to know more first. Those big things. They're all over Great Itch, and they killed everyone. Please, mister, please find my papa. Okay. I'll go look for your father. You will? Really? Yep. yep. Thanks a whole lot. My house is the one closest hey, to the what I do. sign and the old diner. Please, find my papa and make him come back. Anything else you could do to help save nope. lives? Oh God, it's what's left on my back. Well, what good are you then? All right. Well, there is the personal shelter next to the old diner. Papa always said to stay away from it, but I guess it's supposed to be safe. I'll head over there and wait inside. Hurry okay. back. Okay. Well, I gotta go see Moira. <laughs> From one quest to another. When will it end? Well, I want to finish Moira's quest first before I can really do anything. Oh, for fuck's sake. So, alright. I guess I'll wait. How long should I wait? Just wait like 11 hours. 11 hours until opening time. Uh. All right, open up. It was just locked like for one second right there, and then it opened. Hi. Hi. Hey. I got my Bro. eye on you. Yeah, that's nice. But um, where's Moira? Is she. For fuck's sake, is she still asleep? I'll go get her. We're well, supposed to be tending be shop. Safe. What the hell are you doing so, up here? How's the scabbing been? Never mind. Got the food medicine from that super duper mart? Wasn't easy, but I got the food and medicine. Really? You did? Yep. You did? Yep. Well, all right. Tell me all about it. Okay. Um, I had a fun party with some raiders. Then a guard joke. Guard robot jumped out of a cake. Well, as long as it was no problem for you then. I mean, who doesn't enjoy cake? Other than robots, of course. I bet they wow, prefer Wow, that pie. went right over her head. Or maybe pie. <laughs> well, keep what you got. Just traded for a big food shipment myself. Here, take a bit, my treat. Tastes kind of, um, great after a while. Okay. Oh, and take this. It's an old food sanitizer. Just carry it with you, and it should automatically make most food and drink more... better. Okay. Um, I'm ready to continue research on the first chapter. I still need to study a living specimen with radiation poisoning. I need someone to research how to travel through a minefield. And that'll cover the first section of the book. Which strikes your fancy? Okay. What's this about radiation? 
Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books. No need to be a smart ass. Seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning so I can study its effects. Oh, well, not a okay. deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. Well, duh. Not a deadly dose. Okay. I'll get irradiated. Just be ready to fix me up when I get back. Oh, you're a peach. No, I'm not. I'm a human. Some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. I'm a fruit. Now, 200 rads She's the real for fruit basic here. sickness. But if you it's crazy. get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. Just make sure you can get back here, and I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. Have fun out there, okay? Okay. I'll have fun getting radiated. Alright. Let's... Let's go get irradiated. I know the first the perfect place I'll just stand right here how is that guy not dead yet he's been standing in the radiation for days game logic <laughs> what happens if I just wait you cannot wait while being irradiated ah Oh, we're irradiated. You now have radiation poisoning. Uh, Woohoo! Hooray for radiation poisoning! <laughs> What's up, man? Wanna get irradiated? It's the best. It's, it's the new drug. <laughs> get irradiated. Alright. Alright, Doc. Better be ready to fix me up. Oh, for fuck's sake, where is she? Hey! Where's Moira? She still up here? She's supposed to be... She's supposed to be tending shop. Oh, feeling a bit under the weather? Or a bit over the Geiger counter? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't feel well. I think I've got a bit of radiation poisoning. Hmm, I suppose a little radiation poisoning is better than none at all. Well, not normally, really? of course. Unless you like that sort of thing, I guess. So, nope. let me do a little examination. How do you feel? Um, it, uh, <laughs> why didn't you drink a tall glass of wastewater and find out for yourself? Well, because then I wouldn't be well enough to take good notes about... Oh, <laughs> you're being sarcastic, aren't you? Oh. Now, let me take a few so notes, and I'll handle that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade rat cure concoction. There. Okay. Turn on the light. Lie back, and think healthy thoughts. Okay, a little ramen milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few happy thoughts. Well, what do you know? It worked! I mean, I was pretty sure it would, obviously. Here, take a few radiation chems with you. I'm sure you'll run into more in the future. Let's finish up the chapter with that last landmine research. Landmines are one of the few dangers out there that you can I love landmines. Disarm one before it blows, and you can sell it for plenty of caps. I've heard stories about a ghost town that's just full of mines. Traders just call the place Minefield. <laughs> That's creative. Like I wonder work. why they call it minefield. Get back and tell me all about it. And could you bring back a mine for my studies? Okay. I'll head into the minefield. Wish me luck. Oh, don't worry. No one ever goes there because they say it's a ghost town. And since ghosts don't exist, you can just focus on the landmines. I yeah, hear there's a playground in the middle of town. A lot safer. Reach that point and come back, and I'm sure you'll have some stories to tell. Okay. I think we shall just skip straight to the minefield. Cause it, you're not, you guys know it's going to be a long journey. And thus, the journey to the minefield... 
is underway. Get away from me, you little fat. Ah, oh, fucking mole rats. Fuck off. Fuck off. And Skadoosh! Oh, how did that not kill it? Come on. Oh my god. Show that, you idiot! Oh, what? What the f. Hey! I stole his armor. Hehehe. <laughs> I don't have time to deal with these things. Yes. Awesome. I see the town up ahead. I'm very close. Alright, to disarm these mines, I probably should go back into first person. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Who the hell's shooting me? Oh, it's you. All right. Well, Well, bring it on then. <laughs> God damn it. That's for shooting me. God damn it. Sniper rifle. Really? Oh, hot damn. Oh, that almost got me. Also, where's the playground? Oh, there it is. Any mines here? Okay, um... Oh, okay. Alright, let's go back to Moira. Whoa! I'm almost dead! <laughs> Man. those hot little potatoes what? because you know they're on the ground like potatoes oh and hot because they um explode yeah anyway, you're very funny up? we got through the minefield alive and I even brought you a present my very own landmine oh just what I've always wanted well always since I sent you out on this anyway <laughs> now Tell me all about it. What was it like going through there? What's it like disarming a landmine? Oh, I had a lot of fun. Oh, disarming, it's real easy. Just jump on it and down on it. Just jump up and down on it. You go first. You think I'm an idiot? Yep. I may be a little impulsive, but not an idiot. I'll just take a look at this on my own then. I know you may not want to see any more explosives for a while. But obviously you know your way around them. I have a couple rainy day toys of mine. And looking at this landmine, it gives me an idea. It's a terrible device that does terrible things, of course. But it's easy to make your own, too. Is the first chapter done yet? It definitely is. I'm trying to put that same great sense of humor you've got into the book. Keep it up, and it'll inform and entertain. Here, for your services, I've saved up quite a few stim packs. 
Of course, you may need them. We've still got two more chapters to go. Awesome. I'm taking a break from the research. Well, I can't force you to work, I suppose. I'll get back to it when I get back to it. Try not to die. Right back at you. All right. Well, I'm gonna end the video here, so um, thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So stay super, because I know you will, and in the next episode, I'm going to disarm the bomb. See ya. Do they call you a cab? Oh, it's a little doggy. He's a good boy. Hey!